welcome back. My name is Bertin. Today we are traveling from Bunjubi to Bagamoyo. They are the villages of the coastal region of Tanzania. The first episode was exploring the route from Morocco to Bunjubi, which is halfway to Bagamoyo. Today we are going to travel from Bunjubi to Bagamoyo. So these are Kerege and Mapinga villages, the neighborhoods near Dar es Salaam region. We are out from Dar es Salaam region, we are in the coastal region of Tanzania. So this is how the villages outside Dar es Salaam look like. One important fact about this road is that this is not the main road that connects two regions of Tanzania, but rather this is the diversion of the main road that connects Dar es Salaam and northern regions of Tanzania. So this road was constructed from Bunjubi to Msata via Bagamoyo. But nowadays, most of the buses are using this road to connect Dar es Salaam and other regions of Tanzania, especially the northern part of Tanzania. But also there is another option of using another road, Dar es Salaam road, from Mbezi to Chalinze via Mlandizi, where from Chalinze you can pass then to Msata, we are going to meet with this road that passes through Bagamoyo. So continue exploring the villages of the coastal region and see how the Tanzania countryside look like. So this is Kerege. Kerege is among the small towns or the center uh, in the coastal region when en routing to Bagamoyo. Uh, the coastal region is among the regions in Tanzania leading in having many industries. These are the sum of the industries found in the coastal region. Yeah. 
I don't know what happened at this place. There are a lot of abandoned houses here. I don't know the project fed and all that. My people, welcome to Bagamoyo. This is the main roundabout showcasing the entrance to Bagamoyo town. I will spend some days here exploring this old town of Bagamoyo. Bagamoyo is among the important historical towns here in Tanzania. Bagamoyo was once a big city in Tanzania and I've been told that Bagamoyo was even bigger than the restaurant in those times. It was among the most important uh, markets or resting point for slaves who were traveling or were moving from the interior of Tanzania, specifically the central parts and west parts of Tanzania. So watch this series, enjoy this series of Bagamoyo. This is the second episode of Exploring Bagamoyo. I'm going to visit the old church or old Catholic church. I'm going to visit the beaches, but just some old uh, buildings that were built here, uh, counting to 10th century, 12th century, when slave business was booming in East Africa. So this is the bus stage of Bagamoyo, and this is the end of my journey. So from here, I will visit and explore different parts of Bagamoyo. Subscribe to my channel, like and share this video. My name is Bertin. <laughs> 